Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called 23 by Mike Will Make It. And we're going to end up capoing this on 5th fret to kind of match the recording, but it starts out with a cool little keyboard riff where you can play 2nd fret on the G string, and then 1st fret on the B string three times. So we're going A, C, 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 A, C, 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 A, C, C, C. And the chord that would kind of back that up would be an A minor chord, and we play A minor. First finger goes to the B string on the 1st fret. Second finger goes to the D on the second fret. Third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor chord, and this sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, actually, on our choruses, we're going to be going to an F major chord, and we play F major. First finger, and we'll talk about an easy way to play this, but if you put your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret, when you strum all those together, that makes an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now a good substitute for that though is something called F major 7. We play F major 7. First finger goes to the B string on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the G string on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the D string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, e, and E, that sounds like F major 7 and it sounds really, really happy. So through our intro, actually, we're kind of going from the F, well, from the F we're going to be going to a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger stays on the B string 1st fret, 2nd finger goes to the D on the 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the A string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, it sounds really happy. And then we'll be going back to A minor. So through our course, we got kind of A minor, A minor, F, C, A minor, A minor, A minor, F, C, A minor. And a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, though, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we do the A minor and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up. applying that to our, our chorus is on the last C A minor they kind of half so you can do the C with kind of a down down and then the A minor with the up up down up to kind of get that in there so we tried our strum pattern through our, our, our chorus we have A minor down down up To our verses. Our verses start on A minor, and then we do another A minor, and then we do another A minor, but then we kind of half a C major with an E minor chord, and we play E minor. First finger goes to A on the second fret, second finger goes to D on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor in the verse, we go back to A minor, and then we do another A minor, and then we go to an F major. And then we kind of end up with a C, and it's almost like a stop time thing. You may want to think about doing just kind of a down kill it idea on the C. And then we go back to A minor, and then more A minor, and then more A minor, and then we have our C and our E minor again. And then we go back to A minor, and another A minor, and then we go to F, and then we do our C to A minor, just like our, our, our chorus. Our verse with our strum pattern, we'd have A minor with a down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down. part is to play along with Michael Miggett. Um, instead of starting on an A minor, we're going to start on a D minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo. And if you put the capo on 5th fret, then now your A minor is really a D minor chord. Your F major is really a B flat major chord. Your C major is really an F major chord. And your E minor is really an A minor chord. 
we took it from the very, very beginning that way. You could even start off with, with kind, of, kind of that intro lick if you wanted to, kind of working around that A minor. Or you could even kind of use the, the chord to kind of bring that lick out. Actually, that might be kind of a cool thing to kind of try and do. And then if we tried our strum pattern through our chords, we'd have A minor with a down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down. song though is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down the down down up up down up you can throw in a bass for the chords on A minor you can do an A bass down up up down higher than A bass down up up down up on the F major if you're doing the bar F you have the, the bass on the low E string on the E minor you have the low E string for your bass and on the F major 7 you'd have the D for your bass and then on the C chord you have the A string for your bass so we try that next chorus with, with basses um, on, on the C A minor, you may want to do kind of a bass down and then hit the A minor on the up, up, down. So we try it that way. We have A minor with A bass down, up, up, down, up, down, with A bass down, up, up, down, down, with A bass down, up, up, down, with the A bass down, up, up, down, with 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 A bass down, up, through our verse. We have A-Mart with an A-Bass down, up, up, down, with an A-Bass down, up, up, down, with an A-Bass down, up, stop times like an A minor where you may want to do that down kill it idea from the C chord. Now something else I would think about adding to it too is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the B, right now we're kind of dividing that into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that beat into four parts, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the A minor, do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing it down on one, down on three, up on four. So you'd be going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing it up on two, down on three. So one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So you got down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you got down, 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 up, up, down, down.
way to approach the, the, the chorus would be doing that whole strum pattern on the A minor. And this gets a little weird, but how we have it, you can do the F with kind of a down, 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 and then the C on the up, up, and then the hit the A minor on the down, down, up, down. So F with the down, down, now C on the up, up, A minor, down, down, up, down, up. So we tried it that way. We have A minor with the down. Bases on that too. You can do kind of A minor with a bass down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down, and then F with a bass, down, now C on the up, up, A minor with an A bass, down, up, down, up. That'd be kind of a cool way to, then to do it. Bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down, up, bass, down, now C on the up, up, A minor bass, down, up, down, A minor bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down. Halves our, our chords in our verse that way. You have the A minor all the way through. Up, up, bass, down, up, down. And then A minor with the bass, down, down, C on the up, up, E minor with the bass, down, up, down, up. And then we have A minor with the A bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down. And then F with the bass, down, down, C with the up, and kill it. <laughs> and then we have A minor with the A bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down. And then A minor with the A bass, down, down, C on the up, up, E minor with the bass, down. of how you can strum through 23 by Mike will make it. So good luck!